what's up guys welcome back to a new video in this video i'm going to show you how you can add a logo to your shopify footer uh, so let's say you have different types of sub menus in your shopify footer one with contact details one with about us quick links newsletter and you would like to add your logo just below this contact details section that's what i'm going to show you in this video so the very first thing we need to do is find out what this element is called and as every single shopify store would be having a different theme and each theme would be having an element with a different name so the very first thing we need to find out is the name of the element in our theme so in order to do that just open your store you can see i have created a store for testing and once you log into your shopify backend of the store from the online store section just click on this small eye icon and you will visit your store's actual url now from that scroll down and of course you will find this sub menu item in the footer so my instructions are for google chrome and i would recommend that you use google chrome because if you use mozilla or internet edge same things are applied but you might find a bit uh, change in directions on how we are going let's say for google chrome all you need to do here is right click and click inspect for mozilla it might be a bit different for microsoft internet edge it might be a bit different so use google chrome and right click on your footer menu click inspect from here click this icon so that you enable inspecting and once this is done go on your actual element so let's say i would like to put a logo above this element so once i click on this that is left click i can find out the name of this element is site footer underscore rte make sure to remember this now the next thing what we are going to do is log into your shopify backend from here click on online store from themes go to actions click edit code now from here search for footer click enter and you will find footer.clickweight click on it and you will see a long list of code opening so from here make sure your cursor is on this file and click ctrl f that is search for a specific line of code and now search for the element which we had find out earlier so if we go back and find the element its name was site footer underscore rte and how we find it out by clicking on this icon and putting our cursor on the actual element and once it landed on the element the name of the element came out to be site footer underscore rte and make sure all these one two three four five six lines are selected so that's what the whole division class of our element is so now search for site footer underscore rte i'm just going to save some time and only search for rte so now you can see we are under division class site footer rte division class site footer rte so the next thing we are going to do is just before this line of code we are going to add small line of code which is this one now i'll add this same line of code in the description so you can find it out easily and one thing which we need to change here is the url of the logo so let's find out url of a logo just for reference uh, i would just add facebook logo click images and i can find one image of the logo here right click here open image in the new tab so you can see this is the url of this logo i'm just gonna copy it and in the same way you need to copy the url of your own logo i'm going to replace this text with the url we just copied and click save so once this is saved all i'm going to do is go on my store url and make a hard refresh that is Control shift r it's going to refresh everything just going to close this and you can see the logo appearing under the element in the footer now all you need to do is just change the url of your logo and your own company's logo will start to appear here and there are a small more changes we need to do in order to position this logo but i'll show you that in a separate video so i hope guys you have found this video helpful if yes do give thumbs up and if you still have any questions feel free to add in comments and bye bye take care see you in the next video